Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video we will see uh, or we will play around a little bit uh, with the boxes. So currently as you can see boxes are helpful for displaying information like plots or controls or maybe some of the text information and we will see in this video how we can make it more interactive but not like a very plain box like this. So let's go to our code and uh, get this little bit dynamic or interactive in nature. So boxes are present here within the dashboard body section you have box like plot output. So maybe something like uh, first of all the interactivity we can add is giving the title maybe here in this case and we'll say histogram of faithful. So any title that you can give. So but I've just provided the one which is coming in the top of my mind. Um, after that, you can add status. So status is a parameter which helps Shiny uh, identify what kind of status you are specifying. So what it does is nothing but gives a color to maybe the at the border level or at the header level based on how we are specifying. So for example, warning has little bit of yellowish or orangish color. Uh, primary is basically bluish which is little cool in nature you can look at more by going into the help of status but the idea just I wanted to throw that applying this will give your box a little bit of uh, good colors on the borders so let's specify maybe here in this case primary and uh, put a comma after this and now let's see how it is displaying so I'm saving it stopping the previous instance so we have just added two things title and status and earlier if I show you this is how it was looking like nothing was displayed on the border or anything so if I go back again here and run the app and now you can see on the border the blue line is getting displayed you have the title which is histogram of faithful now another thing that we can do which is more interactive is uh, adding a very solid header which is uh, taking the input from the blue border and displaying a solid header with the blue background and uh, on top of that you are getting the title out of it. So for that let's go into our code and add another parameter which is solid header is equals to true. So I can specify just this one word of true or false and uh, R will identify it. So let's hit save, stop this and click the run app again. Now you can see by default if you see it has created a blue header. Change the color so that it is looking beautiful or at least uh, visible to the end user that it is in a white text because that's how it will look good with the blue background of the header. So in that way now your histogram is kind of looking much more beautiful as compared to the previous one where it did not have anything and maybe you can remove or get rid of this histogram of faithful dollar eruptions and just have this beautiful title over there. Now let's see how we can add an, another box over here and add controls like this which will add interactivity to your uh, to your application if that is the case you want to achieve. So for that let's move on to the um, to this and add a couple of more boxes so once we have this box what we will what you can do is put a comma and add another box so this box will again going to take inputs like this what we really want to do with this uh, we want to add any plot or add any control or anything so first of all let's give it a title which is control for dashboard status maybe here in this case let's give it a warning so it will display some yellowish or orangish kind of a header uh, earlier it was showing you the primary so solid header is equals to true and then how you what controls you really want to place over here so let's say you want uh, slider input and uh, text input both of these to be displayed as so i'm cutting it removing the comma and hitting enter pasting the values all right so this is the one which we want 
and let's hit save and see how it is looking in the front end so i'm stopping it and clicking on run app all right so now you're along with your histogram you have controls of dashboard and you are specifying the number of breaks that needs to be there and it is changing accordingly so it's working fine and you can see you just have the menu items and search which is a very standard way that uh, these are the controls these are the pages you can look and here are your controls you can search the opportunities by giving any number or alphanumeric text or anything so it is not doing anything because we have no functionality or nothing to search it over here but idea is to get it if you have, want to display some information about what these controls are doing you can do that by going into the R studio and maybe because uh, before this solid header what you want to write is use in the bulk quotes uh, use these controls to fine tune your dashboard maybe another one uh, do not use lot of control or I'll just enter it so that I get space do not use lot of control as it confuses the user so let's see how it is doing just put a comma afterwards so that we are not getting any error hit save enter uh, stop the application previous instance and run the app all right so use the controls on your dashboard do not use control as it confuses the user now it is coming in one single line we need to give an html tag br which indicates break so let's stop this stop this instance and give it here br all right that should solve our purpose saving it running the app and now it's saying use these controls to find you maybe i just want another break because that's how it will look good so i will just add one more break so idea is that i'm giving you that you can add interactivity like this and a number of controls which you want to add so i'm saving it and enter or stopping the application and running the app again now it is showing me this information i can further add an one more break between these two and it will keep on adding it so you can have a similar height like this once you have keep on adding the components and which will look much more uh, user friendly and uh, from a visualization aesthetics perspective apart from this what you can have is uh, from the look and feel perspective is changing the background of these control or these boxes so for that you you just need to provide the background uh, so just enter, enter and i will just provide the background and aqua maybe here in this case or let's say here we say background and let's say we want red i know it's not a good choice but yeah that's fine put a comma as it is showing you the red mark which says that it is part of the parameters hit the save button stop the previous instance and run the app all right so not very good but at least just want to show you if you if you have a requirement of showing some background so this is the background of box on top of that you have the chart but the chart has its background too so that's why it is shown white here in this case uh, it does not have any chart and entire thing is painted in red so that's how you can uh, add uh, backgrounds add headers and make your dashboard look much more good however i know that it's not really looking good so maybe i will just replace it back and use it more wise colors or wise approach to to paint the picture but you got the idea about how you can add background and headers and all of those things to make it an interactive one